other class. <laughs> So as you saw from the previous clips, I did a workout this morning with my gym friends. We do this every holiday. It's called the 12 days of Christmas. Um, and it's a workout where there's 12 different exercises and it counts down from one to 12. So you do like one snatch and then you do two cleans and one snatch. And then you do like three squats, two cleans, one snatch. And you do the ladder and climb all the way down to the 12th exercise. It takes a full hour. It's brutal. Um, so that was super fun. Those are my gym besties. And then we went and ate a little bit of breakfast, fueled back up, and then did a cycle class, which I taught. It was so much fun. I went out to lunch with Marissa and Leanne. I did not vlog that. We were like hungry. I'm feeling a lot better today, which is amazing. It also felt so good to sweat. So I'm very, very glad that number one, I worked out. And number two, that cycle just felt really, really good. But I kind of got emotional on my way home from the gym today. Um, this is my second Christmas teaching classes at Lifetime and my it was a year in. I feel like I just started to like meet people and meet members. This year was just like super special for some reason. I started out working here with literally just one cycle class on the schedule. It was just a Monday night amp cycle class. And I look back at that person and I thought that person was like so grown. I thought that person felt inspired. I wish that I could tell her how good it would get. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. This is my second year doing Vlogmas and I'm already becoming like a crying YouTuber. You know, so much has happened this year. Like so much growth has happened in my nine to five jobs. So much growth has happened in my life time job so much growth has happened with things that I do with Elizabeth for the first time in a really long time I just feel genuinely proud of myself it feels like I've accomplished a lot this year and I feel a lot of love around me in life I feel a lot of opportunity coming in the next year like things are just things are good and I cannot wait to see what the universe and what God and what 2024 has in store for me. So I just wanted to say that. I wanted to say that I'm very humbly accomplished right now. But to pivot after my cry fest, I have to go take a shower and get ready because we're going, <laughs> we're going ax throwing with my family, which is the most random thing ever. We're gonna go ax throwing at 3.30 and then Chad and I have to come back here, change into pajamas, and then we're going to Nicole and Seth's house tonight for a little Christmas get together, but I just wanted to pop on here and check in and yeah, I will talk to you guys in just a little bit. I feel like there's no way to transition out of that. Okay. <laughs> We're back again. Back like we never left. All right. That was really embarrassing if I included the <laughs> clip of me crying because now we're now we're back to biz. So I just showered, washed my face, put my hair in a little slicked pony, putting on a little makeup. Chad and I are going to go axe throwing <laughs> my family in just a little bit. I want to leave here in like probably the next 15 minutes. Let's see if I can get things done. What are you laughing at? <laughs> this is recording. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm at the part of Christmas where I'm done with the prep work, so now I can enjoy it. I know I said that in a previous vlog and I was right, it was Saturday that I can feel relaxed again. I'm just referring back to my previous clip of just like really feeling grateful right now and just like happy. You know, when you're younger and you have like the magic of Christmas, your parents get you presents, maybe seeing relatives that live out of town and it's just like, you see the Christmas lights and it's like a lot of like visual magic. And I also feel like the Christmas magic as a kid, you have like a big lead up. Like I feel like I would feel the Christmas spirit if we want to call it that. I feel like I would feel that like the whole month of December. You're doing stuff at school. You're watching these Christmas movies. I don't know, you know what I mean? For me, every year I'm like, oh, I just like don't feel that magic. Like it's kind of like stressful. You're still trying to do real life things that don't pertain to Christmas. It just seems like, why am I spending so much money and like doing this? Like we just did this a year ago, even though I love Christmas. And without fail, 
it always happens like a couple days leading up to the actual holiday is when I finally feel like that Christmas feeling and I'm like excited to give my gifts and like excited to see family and like I don't even do anything that extravagant for Christmas okay I'm pretty much done I just have to add highlighter and mascara okay couple curls and then we're out the door wow it only took me like 12 minutes to do my makeup today i'm looking at the time stamp also this sweater that i'm wearing is so cute i wore it on thanksgiving too it's like this it's got cute little buttons all down the front it's from abercrombie which i'll link below all right let's leave okay bye <laughs> I gotta have it. I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet. Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket.